All right, well, with many people that have an older garage, or not even really that old, they have fluorescent T8s or T12 bulbs. And as you can see here, we have many T8 light fixtures above here. The middle row has already actually been retrofitted for LEDs, but the outside rows have not been done due to having burned out ballast. Now there's two ways you can go about doing this in the retrofit. You can just get bulbs that are still using the ballast, but then they're LEDs. But with that, you're still having to mess with the problem of the ballast burning out all the time. And that's what happened here. There's 16 lights and like 14 of them, the ballast were bad. And these lights were only about 12 years old. So thinking about the retrofit kit to make all these T8s uh, LEDs, I thought about, okay, I could go the one way, but I want to do it you know, once and for all where it's done, where I get rid of all the ballast. So, but what you have to do is you have to go to non-shutted tombstones at the fixture. And that seemed like a lot of work, having to rewire all those tombstones, the little bit pieces that hold the, the tube in. So I came across a retrofit kit, which this retrofit kit comes like this. And it's made by PLT. And this is for four foot, four bulb uh, light fixtures to retrofit. And it's already pre-wired as you see here. And these bulbs, these bulbs are, the power only comes in one end when you do this. And this is the end where the power comes in, where the label is. The other end is just really just holding the bulb in place. And that's why they give you these uh, green ones, because this one doesn't have any power on it. This is the one that's going to go on the side with no power just to kind of hold it in. So I thought, you know, this is a great idea because this will kind of help speed up the whole process with having, with having this kit that's already pre-wired and everything. And it comes with some labels and stuff like that too. Now, the, this, all of this, the bulbs and the uh, retrofit kit with the quick disconnect, which is very nice. It's just a, you just push in the new wires into here and then that's going to power all this. So there's no wire nuts or anything like that. So this retrofit kit is um, part number PLT-50145. And this is for T8 and T12 bulbs. Now, it's not exactly a perfect fit. So a lot of times, you know, some of these might snap in or slide in just right, but with my level on uh, fixtures, that wasn't quite the case, which you'll see here in just a minute. So here we are. We already took out the, the four bulbs here. And as you see, we have the cover here, which we got to take off. And then that's where the, uh, the ballast will be. And then once we get that off, then we'll cut out the ballast and redo all the wiring. All right, so here's the ballast right here. And you see, this is a light fixture that, you know, it's kind of daisy chained together where you got multiple wires coming to this wire net. So in this fashion right here, what I do is leave a little bit of a lead from the wires that go to the ballast, because these are the ones I'm going to connect into the quick connect um, from the retrofit kit. And so basically, I'm going to cut these yellow wires here. I'm going to cut all these wires. And then I'm going to remove all these tombstones out of there and remove all the tombstones out of here. Okay, so we're going to cut these. I'm going to leave a little bit extra hanging out here. And then we're going to cut these. And then we're going to go ahead and we're going to remove, I'll show you how we remove. So basically I think these sometimes are fragile from all the heat over the years so they'll kind of break a lot so be careful. So I just put a little flathead screwdriver behind it and kind of just wedge it up a little bit. Kind of just twist the screwdriver to help pry it both sides until it wants to come out. And that's how you'll get the other tombstone out. As you can see, it's definitely a different design. This is a, a slide-in setup here. And these are supposed to be good. Now, it does say on these it's medium, but it doesn't say what medium really means when you go to thousandbulbs.com. It just kind of says medium. So I never could find any, like, is there a larger size? But everything just said medium. So really what 
um, the problem is that this is so loose in the fixture and it sits so far back that you kind of have to build up the back or build up underneath it to kind of get to stay in there, you know, nice, you know, and so it's snug. Okay, as you see, I just slid this one on here and it's, they're very, 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 very loose. And, and then if you put it on, it almost goes so far back that it's like the bubble almost wants to fall out. You know, so, and I tried pinching these little metal ears and sometimes it helps a little bit, but it always was kind of a problem. I mean, you can see how just loose they are. So what I ended up doing that worked the best after trying a couple of different scenarios was to actually put a dab of silicone behind each one of them. And that definitely seemed to, you know, help, you know, build it up and make it definitely better. Like just a little dab on each one of them. And then of course, and then, you know, I put it all together wet and, you know, it dries later and it, it seems to be fine, you know, so. So that's what we do to put those on. All right, so we put the head of dab of silicone on each one. We just slid them in as they are and they kind of get pretty tight, especially on this side because there's the wires above them. So it kind of helps put some tension on those little bitty ears right there. And then you have your lead coming off here to your quick disconnect. And this was the two, you know, like two inch wires I had, three inch wires coming off the old ballast that go in there. Make sure you got the white and the white side and the black and the black side. And then these tombstones over here, same thing, silicone behind them, they really just sit there. They don't really do anything at all. You know, uh, they're just holding the bulb in place. All right, the bulbs are in and you know, they just twist in like normal bulbs would twist in. As you see like right like that. And you'll notice that, remember, this is the powered side. So it's the side that had the silver label on it and you see this little reading right here, that'll face down when they're connected in correctly. Put the cover back on, and then I always test it just to make sure that it's gonna work. As you see it, test it out fine. At this point, we clean up the lens, and you know, as you see, they get bugs and all kinds of stuff in them. Clean up the lens, put it back on, and that's it. So in conclusion, you know, and the bulbs, by the way, the bulbs in here are 5,000K bulbs, so it's a little more for task lighting. It's more of a, you know, bright white kind of a color. Wouldn't wanna put them in a house. Um, but for in a garage or office space, the 5000K does seem to help you with a lot of detail work. Um, so, you know, and the, the little bulbs that I used were the PLT90032. They were the four footer uh, T8 LEDs, 5000K, 15 watt bulbs. Um, so the retrofit kit takes a little bit, but I think with doing the silicone, um, it really kind of helped it out, at least with my fixtures that are there. Other fixtures, they might snap right in. These fixtures were bought from Home Depot, so I mean, I, I imagine, you know, millions of people probably have these kind of fixtures in their house, so they'll probably have to do some kind of, something to kind of like uh, get that tombstone and kind of fit in a little more snug. So overall, um, I thought that it definitely was a lot easier than trying to like rewire each tombstone. Um, so in that, you know, aspect, I thought it definitely was helpful. Um, with the, um, you know, with the info on the website could be definitely a little bit better. Um, maybe show some measurements and maybe say what medium is. But overall, I think it was good. You know, I've been putting this project off for a long time and it's nice to finally have some good lighting in here. You know, and I'm 47 and you know, you know how it is. I mean, lighting is everything, you know, the older you get. So anyway, I definitely recommend everybody doing it and that's it.